Hello everybody, Pipe Man 1861 here. Well, I'm just coming back, finishing up a very, very nice Saturday. Hmm. Let me turn this fan up a little bit before I fumigate, fumigate the house. Had a great day. Yeah, everything went well today. Got with uh, cousin Richard, and he he and I went up to the Indiana Pipe Club meeting at Smoker's Choice Cigar Bar in uh, Brownsburg, Indiana. Did not get a video out there. It's too busy talking to folks. Had a wonderful time. Got to meet Smarty Bob in person. He's a wonderful fella. And I told him this in person, but if you see this, sir, I thank you so much for your uh, the conversation we had, I really appreciate it, and I really enjoyed meeting you and talking to you. Met the president of the Indiana Pipe Club, Mr. Kirk Keener. He's a very nice fellow. And if you're from the state of Indiana, and you're interested in pipes, pipe smoking. Look into the Indiana Pipe Club. I joined today, $25 a year. They have a meeting every other month. In May, is the next meeting, they're going to have it at the Briar and Burley in uh, Bloomington. Very, very nice pipe shop there. So, if you're interested in joining a pipe club and you're from the state of Indiana, I think this is the one to do. I did halfway decent in the slow smoke competition, at least I didn't win the matches, so I'd say I did well. I think my time was 19 minutes, which may not sound like a lot, but for me that's not bad. Shortest time was 2 minutes, longest time was right around 46-47 minutes. So. right in the middle again. Nice comfortable place to be. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed talking with folks. Had fun. That's a really nice, if you're ever around the Indianapolis area, at the Smoker's Choice Cigar Bar, that's amazing. They have the largest humidor in the state. Incredible selection. I was amazed. Nice smoking lounge. They have a bar there. You can get drinks if that is your forte. Very nice, relaxing place. So, I had fun and I found a new favorite pipe tobacco. They have some bulk tobaccos there and I was looking through them. I wanted to get something, you know. I got two ounces of uh, Sutliff spiced rum. And I tell you, this is wonderful stuff. Smell room notes incredible, jar notes incredible. It tastes exactly like it smells. Mm, it's good stuff. That's what I'm smoking right now on my K. Woody Dublin. I really like it. Anyway, 
now that all that's out of the way, I wanted to make this video and talk about Strauss. Strauss tobacconist is the third oldest tobacconist in the, the country behind Ewan Wearies and uh, L.J. Peretti. It was founded in 1880 in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now they've been in the same location in Cincinnati since 1905, in the same building. Well, and they have another location in Florence, Kentucky that opened in 2000, I believe. Well, they've been, the, the Cincinnati location, the original location, they've been, well, for the last several years, renovating the building that they are in, the uh, Merchants, Mer Merchantile Library, I believe, Merchants Library building. They've been renovating them into uh, apartments, nice apartments, you know. Well, the lease expired, expires, on their lease expires at the end of this month. Basically, they told them they had to close down in order to renovate their little store spot there in order to bring it up to code. So, the owner of Strauss decided to sell the downtown Cincinnati location, the original location. He is going to retain the Florence location and keep it open. All right. He has sold the Walnut Street downtown Cincinnati location, the original old building. They're going to the new owners are going to continue to run it as Strauss. They have to close for a year for the renovations to be done, and they hope to be open as Strauss in about a year. Of course, you know how stuff works sometimes, a change of ownership, you never know. But that's the situation. They're going to close on Wednesday, this Wednesday, so four days from now. But like I said, the Florence location is going to remain open and under the original ownership. So, um, and obviously since it's under new ownership, the old, the original location probably won't remain the same. They'll probably make some changes. So what I wanted to do was do a little walkthrough video and show how Strauss, the downtown location of Strauss was before it goes through all these changes. And I asked the, I asked the owner, he was there the evening I went, I asked him if it would be alright if I did that, he said, oh yeah, it's fine, just make sure you tell everybody that uh, hmm, we usually have much more stock than this. We've moved a lot of our stock to the Florence location, so make sure that everybody doesn't assume that's how it usually looks. And I said, I'll, I'll make that perfectly clear. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the video, the walkthrough video I took. And uh, yeah, I don't talk in it any. I just walk through. I didn't want to be overly obtrusive, but I will show you the walkthrough video, and uh, then I'll be back after you watch that. See you in just a minute.
Hello again. Like I say, that was just a little walk through of how it looks. It's a really neat, it was a really neat spot. I sat in the smoking lounge a couple, three times and had a nice smoke session. And I will continue to do so with Strauss and Florence, but it's always sad to see the original go away, or at least change, I should say. It's not going away. And the gentleman, I don't know, I can't remember if I got him in the video, but the gentleman with the white mustache, he was, he's the owner of Strauss. He's the, the fellow who sold the downtown location and is going to retain the, the Florence one. Very nice fellow. He's owned Strauss for many years. I think he said late 80s he bought it. But anyway. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. I better get off of here. I'm going to finish up a little bit that's left in my pipe and then I'm going to get ready for bed. This is Pipe Man 1861 saying goodbye, good luck, may the good Lord take a liking to you and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye folks, happy smoking to you. <laughs>